Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are back on Warzone like always. So, in today's video, we're going to be going over the top 10 loadouts that you guys should be running in Season 3 of Warzone. And the uh, new event or whatever is happening in an hour 40 minutes. We're going to be getting the new map and whatever. But um, I'm going to be going over the top 10 loadouts. And then tomorrow, I'll be uploading a video on the PPSH. Just because I like I, I can't really rank up the gun. I ranked it up a little bit. And it's actually in some, like a bunch of my class setups over here. But um, yeah, since there's no like normal plunder or like uh just normal battle royale it's harder to rank up the guns and uh so let's just hop right in first class setup we have the car 98 and the ppsh so car 98 i always like this gun from the start it's it's probably one of the best it's probably the best sniper in the game so we got the monolithic syngard custom 27.6 barrel tack laser sniper scope f tack sport comb stock and that's set up on it it's just fa fast adsing easy to get headshots with it's my favorite setup and then we rock in the ppsh so I use this thing a little bit in the rebirth or whatever, and this thing has a little recoil, kills quick, and there's some decent range to it. And um, they did nerf the Mac 10 FAR, so this could take the spot. I'm not too sure, I'm not 100% sure, but um, uh, the Mac 10 FAR probably aren't as good as they were, so PPSH could take that spot. And um, right now, I just have this is a basic setup on it. If you guys just get the gun, we have the flash guard 14.3 extended. I would run the reinforced heavy if you have that. A uh, foregrip I put on the uh, the field agent or whatever it's called, and then the 55 I think is good. Marathon stock is good. Uh, I'd be running like the no stock down here, and for the muzzle I'd be running the uh, uh, the agency suppressor, and that'd probably be the best setup for it. And uh, yeah, that's the class setup one we got. Next we got the Amax Mac 10. I feel like the Amax is gonna shine in this season just because like it's always been really good. Now that they nerfed the uh, burst guns, this thing could probably uh, take the spot. And um, a lot of people, I feel like, should be using it. So we got Monolithic, XRK, Zodiac, the Commando, 45 round mag, and the VLK Optic. This thing is just, is, I think it's one of my favorite guns in the game right now. Just really good, not much recoil, it kills quick. If you, if you could land a headshot or two, like the headshot multiplier is just insane on it. So if you land a headshot, you'll be killing people really quickly. Paired up with the MAC-10, not too sure how the MAC-10 is doing right now after the nerf. I, I think they just decreased the damage like a tiny, tiny bit on it. But here's a normal setup, agency, reinforced, field agent. 53 round mag and the no stock attachment overall good combo right there can't go wrong with it then again we got the amax but this time we're gonna be pairing up with a bullfrog now that they nerfed like far mac 10 there's gonna be different guns taking the spot as the like a uh, meta smg or whatever and i feel like the bullfrog is a really good gun low recoil on it shoots fast has a lot of ammo yeah it's a really good setup we have the group suppressor reinforced heavy or it's not heavy on this one but it's the reinforced best sounds grip 65 round mag and the no stock attachment the thing ADS is quick, not much recoil to it, and I, I made a video on this like two or three times, and it's really good, drop good gameplays with it. Definitely give that setup a go, and then we got the, okay, here's another, a new, a big change to the gun. We got the QBZ, so what they did to this, they increased the ADS speed, the movement speed. Now, I want to say decrease the recoil too, I'm not too sure, you guys will, I made a video on the patch notes if you guys want to look at all the changes, but um, yeah, they gave this gun a good buff, so we got the agency reinforced heavy field agent. The 60 round mag and the axle arms three times scope. I actually dropped my like highest kills with this gun, so now that they buffed it a bit, this thing is definitely gonna be uh, one of the better guns in the game. And then we paired up with the PPSH again. This second, this secondary, like it's it's kind of like debatable. Like no one really knows like what the meta is right now. You could be running the PPSH if Mac 10 still good. Like I'd run the Mac. I don't think that fair is gonna be that good because they decreased the ADS speed once again, and I think decreased damage and range on it. So. Uh, don't think that gun's gonna be uh, the spot anymore. Hopefully it isn't because definitely need a new SMG in there. So we got the the same setup as earlier on it. Another gun that they did buff is the Cold War AK-47. They decreased the recoil on it, so the recoil pattern. They said they smoothed out the recoil pattern, so won't have as much recoil on it. And I felt like the the AK-47 was a good gun, it's hard hitting, and the only problem was the recoil on the gun. So not they. Uh, buffed it. I feel like this could be one of the better guns of the game now. So we got the Gru Suppressor Reinforced, Best Sounds Grip, 45 round mag, and the Axe Arm, 3 times scope. Very excited to give this a go. Hopefully it slaps, man. I would love the AK-47 to be like meta or whatever. And we paired up with a Mac 10 same setup as before. Just a good combo. Mac 10. That is, for SMGs, the meta is going to be kind of uh, changed around a little bit because I feel like more people are going to be around the Mac 10 now. But the FAR got a tank nerf. Next up, we got the Krig 6. So they also did buff this gun. I want to say they increased the range on it. But um, they did buff it, so we paired up. You know, we paired up with PPSH, and then we got the agency Ranger Field Agent 45 round mag and the Axe Arm Scope. The Ranger gives you that bold velocity, which you want with this thing. As of, there's no reinforced heavy on this gun, which is annoying because that's that's the one I'd be using. I just feel like this one's the best one for like the range. You could run the takedown, but I just feel like this uh, Ranger's the best one just for that bold velocity. You'll be shooting people, your bullets will be landing quicker. 
to your enemies at farther ranges. Craig before the update was a, it, it, it was okay. I wouldn't say it was like anything great, but um, now hopefully it'll be a little bit better. And we paired it with the PPSH same setup as earlier. I really feel like the PPSH might be the new meta. Then we got the M4A1. So this gun has been good since season one of Warzone from like as soon as the game came out. So I feel like this gun's still one of the better guns in the game. Not many people run it as much, but this gun was all this gun has always been good. So we got the mono, monolithic, the stock M16 Grenadier, Commando 4 grip, 50 round mag, and the rubberized grip tape. Low recoil on the gun, shoots fast, has good range, and just an overall really good weapon. We paired up with the PPSH again. Like again, like the secondary, you could run whatever you feel comfortable with. I just feel like PPSH meta. But um PPSH Mac 10. FFAR maybe if it's still good. Uh, we got the bullfrog. You got the MP5 cold or MP5. There's a bunch of different SMGs you could be rocking with it. Then we got the CR56 again, and we're pairing it up with the LC10, which also caught a buff to the bull velocity. And um, before the update, I felt like this gun was actually really good, and uh, I was a fan of it when I like uh, first used it when the update dropped for this gun. But um, agency reinforced heavy field agent, 45 round mag, and no stock. This thing's kind of like a uh, bullfrog. This thing shoots fast, not much recoil to it, and you can like beam people at range a little bit with it. So. We'll see how it is now that they increase both velocity. I feel like this could be also an option for the uh, potential SMG meta. But um, so the nine setup we got the growl. The growl man. When the growl was meta, it was probably the best time. Warzone growl meta was my favorite meta in Warzone growl. MP5 combo was just insane, and it was just really fun. So we got the monolithic tempest arch angle or arc angle barrel coming on four grips, six round mag, and the F tag rubber. If you want that faster ADS time, you could rock the XRK void. But I'm just doing the uh. F tag rubber for the recoil control because when they nerfed this gun, they I'm pretty sure they decreased or they increased the recoil a little bit and they uh, decreased the range a little bit, so you'll be getting more hit markers at range. But this thing's still really good. The iron sights are just so clean on it, best iron sights I've ever had on a weapon in my life. Playing COD, how much recoil to it? Good set. We paired up PPSH again. You could rock whatever you want for the secondary slot, but um, last setup we got the PKM. So I wanted to toss in an LMG in here, and I feel like the PKM is one of the best LMGs. I made a video on it recently, and I just feel like the thing's really good. It's just no one uses it. Um, there's like, I mean, there's probably better ARs, like the AMAX. Like, there's definitely better guns for it, like to take this spot. But um, here's the setup we got on it. I don't know why I have tactical suppressor on. It's supposed to be monolithic. Got the extended snatch grip. Make sure I have that on because some people might just go right to the commando. But for the snatch grip, you get recoil control and ADS speed, which is really, really good. And we got attack laser for ADS speed VLK. Some people don't like around the attack laser. You could toss on slight hand. You could toss on rubberized for more recoil. You could toss on stippled for that uh, ADS and sprint fire. Or you could toss on no stock if you are fine controlling the recoil. But um, yeah, it's the last setup for the gun. We paired up with the MAC-10. Once again, you could rock whatever you want for the secondary slot. Same setup as usual for the MAC-10. But um, yeah, that's all the best class setups. I feel like top 10 loadouts in the game right now for Warzone that you guys should be giving a go after the update. That's just what I think potential like metas combinations that you could be running and these are just some of my like personal guns that i like running that i think are good a max is probably up there car 90 is up there hopefully the pbsh once i get the attachment and everything it feels really good i'll have a video on that tomorrow but um yeah man let me know what you guys think of these loadouts if you guys have any loadouts that you want to share let me know in the comment section below but um yeah drop like drop a sub if you guys enjoyed the video follow the twitch link in the description and uh yeah pbsh video tomorrow and uh yeah if you guys enjoyed it i'm out peace